right, so today I'm builds. I'm pretty busy in the shop. You can see I got Tacoma back here. I got next air over here. And walk out back. These are just our personal vehicles. And we got a boat and a semi truck that Logan's working on. And today we're going to be telling you about what we're doing to this Peterbilt today. So we're in the first stage of doing the sound system of the Peterbilt. Just taking it apart. So Logan's out there, he's doing our power distribution. So what we're going to be doing is changing out the head unit, we're going to be putting a flip out Pioneer. Uh, we're going to be changing out the 4x6 speakers on the front. We're going to also change out the rear six and a halfs. Here's the sleeper, uh, bed's been removed, we're going to take out the plywood and we're going to put two 12s underneath with a 4 channel and a mono block. Wiring's all run through the truck, so I'm going to show you guys that before we start butting everything up. So we've gone with Stinger Elite wiring. Uh, really like the stuff, just 100% copper, really nice material on the jacket, already comes loomed. Uh, mini a &L, um fuse here. So we like to, we want to put in the battery because in a semi truck it's going to endure a lot of wear and tear just because of the amount of kilometers that these guys put on their vehicles. So in here we're going to, at least it's close to the batteries and it's not on the frame exposed to the elements like you can see it's really dusty in here so stuff still gets in but it's better than nothing and then we always make sure that we put these little rubber seals in here to help make sure nothing gets inside of the fuse holder so decks all wired up uh, see here here's the harness RCA is all marked off and we're running nicely along the cab on the opposite side of the power wire Okay, so I got the amplifiers all wired up. I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on. So, four channel and our monoblock. We're gonna be powering up two W3 uh, 12 inch subwoofers in a ported box. Uh, still have to clean up all down here. I gotta vacuum this all up. So, you can see here our power wires run here. So it's coming from the opposite side of the vehicle. So we're not trying, we're trying to get, keep it away from the RCAs to make sure we don't induce any noise to the system. Our nine wire conductor here and all our power wire. Tried to run the ground symmetrically here. And then we have one wire here for one side of the sub box, and the other one's gonna run all the way along the other side to the other side of the sub box off the mono block, and everything's just run super nice and clean. We're all done now. We're just wrapping up the truck and butting up. And flip out installed. Hertz 4x6s behind the factory location. In the rear, we needed more space, so we had to put Hertz speakers here with the uh, aftermarket grill. And then you can see our amplifiers and our two W3 12 inches and a ported box. So now all we have to do is put this back and deliver it to the customer.